हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल टॉक अबाउट फाइंडिंग टेंजेंट लाइन टू द कर्व ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सर्फिसज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट्स लेट मी एक्सप्लेन एन आइडिया टू यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टूडेंट्स वैन वी हैव टू लाइन्स एंड वैन टू लाइन्स इंटरसेक्ट्स देन यू नो दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज अ लाइन एल वन एंड दिस इज अ लाइन एल टू एंड दे इंटरसेक्ट when they intersect with each other then we get a point okay for example this is the point 1 2 or it can be any other point that means when two lines intersect then we get a point okay but what happen when two surfaces intersect but when two surfaces intersect what will happen when two surfaces intersect for example students we have two spheres okay one sphere is this and one sphere is this basically this is not a circle the inside is also filled okay so students when two spheres or you can say two surfaces intersect basically sphere is a surface okay then students we get a curve as you can easily see that here we get a curve when both of these intersect okay so this idea you have to keep in mind when two lines intersect then they intersect at a single point but students when two surfaces intersect then they intersect at a curve now let us come towards our main topic uh, as it is said that we have to find the tangent line to the curve means basically we are asked to find uh, tangent line along this kind of curve as you can see this is basically a tangent line to this curve but it it would be different for the different curves um tangent line to the curve of intersection of two surfaces now students let us look at a particular question and try to grasp the idea that what basically it says the question is the surfaces our first surface is f of x y z is equals to x square plus y square minus z is equal to 0 this is basically a cylinder okay and the other surface is g of x y z is equals to x plus z minus 4 is equal to 0 and this is basically a plane okay this is basically a plane meet in an ellipse e now you are asked to find the parametric equations for the line tangent to e at point p not 1 1 3 now students if i give you an arbitrary set, uh, sketch of these two surfaces then suppose uh, this is a cylinder okay suppose this is a cylinder but you can also draw that is given in a question but i am just trying to give you an idea and suppose this is the plane and this is the plane that intersect uh this cylinder after when when basically student this uh plane intersect our cylinder then we get an ellipse okay here definitely if it cut then uh, we get an equation of an ellipse okay now students we have to find the parametric equations of the lines that are tangent to basically this ellipse okay now students uh first of all the idea is this um the tangent line is orthogonal or you can say perpendicular to both gradient of f and gradient of g at point p not uh students suppose that uh this is our some surface okay and this is a curve here now student if this is the tangent line then here uh, for example our gradient of f and a perpendicular to it would be gradient of g 
okay students now uh, in its parallel we will get the equation of gradient of f and gradient of g means its cross product would be perpendicular to these two but it would be parallel to our tangent line okay so this is what it says the tangent line is orthogonal to both gradient of f and gradient of g at the point p naught okay and therefore and therefore parallel to v vector is equal to gradient of f cross gradient of g means uh, its cross product is equals to v vector this is what we have supposed okay now students first of all uh, the idea for solving this question is as you know that we are given function f of x y z that is equals to x square plus y square minus uh, 2 sorry here it is 2 okay not z minus 2 first of all we need to find its gradient means the gradient of f would be gradient of this function now students if you don't know how we can find the gradient then you can uh, search it on my previous videos okay now its gradient would be equal to partial derivative with respect to x into i vector partial derivative with respect to y into j vector and uh, definitely the partial derivative uh, with respect to constant would be equal to zero okay now students uh, if we find the partial derivative at the point p naught p naught is basically 1 1 3 then our partial derivative would become equal to 2 i vector plus 2 into j vector students similarly uh, as our uh, g surface is g x y z is equal to x plus z minus 4 and if we take its gradient then uh, we will get uh, i vector plus into k vector okay because we are uh, this uh, basically this surface doesn't involve y so we will uh, take we will not take the der partial derivative of y or uh, it would be treated as a constant so it would be equal to 0 okay now gradient of g at the point p naught would become equal to the same because there is no variable involved here okay students now the next idea is this we have to find our v vector means v vector is equals to gradient of f cross gradient of g and we will find we will use the determinant method here to find its cross product means we will write first i j and k like this and after that we will write down the values of gradient of f means the uh, i value would be equal to 2 j would be 2 and uh, uh, k would be 0 in the similar way here i will get 1 0 and 1 now if i open up its determinant then we will get i as it is 2 into 1 is equals to 2 2 minus 0 uh, plus into minus j vector into uh, 2 minus 0 plus k vector into negative 2 and student if i simplify it further then i will get this term minus 2k vector now basically this is our v vector now student uh, as we know the equation of a tangent line in parametric form it is given by x is equal to x naught plus v of x uh, at the point p naught means the partial derivative of v at the point p naught uh, times t and you know that our x naught is basically this point uh, this the first value is x naught the second is y naught and the third coordinate is z naught so uh, x naught would be become uh, x naught would become equal to 1 so i write here 1 plus partial derivative of v with respect to x at the point p naught is this value uh, that is with i vector so i will write here 2 and t as it is in the similar way y is equal to y naught plus partial derivative of v with respect to y at the point p naught times t and it would become equal to 1 minus 2 t because here y naught is equals to 1 and this value negative 2 and in the similar way z would be equal to 3 minus 2t okay student and these are basically the required equations that we are asked to find the equations tangent to the 
curve of two surfaces now student let me explain a little bit more uh, students we have used here the idea that uh, the tangent line would be orthogonal to both of these vectors and it would be parallel to this vector so if it is parallel to this vector then basically um, it is some scalar multiple of that vector so if we uh, find this value and use it in our required uh, equations of the tangent line then we will get our desired result okay now student this is all about today's lecture in which i have discussed about finding tangent line to the curve of intersection of two surfaces and we have also discussed a particular example thank you so much see you next time